Hey guys, this is Rax425 from Rax425.com and today I'm going to show you how you can rank your YouTube videos or websites using Google Trend keywords and how to use this website so you can really narrow down the keywords to the titles of your videos and in the descriptions of your videos and in the tags and how to really narrow down these aspects of a seemingly large pool of search categories and keywords. You can narrow, narrow them down to just a few and really get your videos ranking in the search. So if you're interested, I'm gonna switch to my desktop and stay tuned. Hey guys, uh, as I said in the intro, this is going to be a little tutorial on Google Trends. It's sort of like AdWords in a way, but it kind of it's more a bit, a bit more broad and less, I guess, targeted. So you can just kind of go through this and get a feel for what's being searched for on the web in general. Uh, so whenever you get to the uh, Google Trends homepage, you're greeted with this right here, where you'll see uh, different categories of of different uh, trends that are popular. Uh, so, and you go down and you can see a list of them right here uh, of what's trending most in on the Google search right now. So this is sort of useful in a way where you can kind of see where the traffic is going. Uh, of course, if you have a niche in politics like here, or if you have a niche in entertainment, you know, th th this front page will help you. Uh, in general, it's not really for me. The front page ain't for me because I'm into science and technology, so it's not really, uh, that front page really doesn't help me. I'm gonna have to narrow it down. So you click on this all categories section, and you have business, entertainment, health, science and tech, uh, sports and top stories. So I click on the tech, go in here, and then I can see where the traffic is going for my niche tech so this is really uh, this is really good really helpful to see that uh, of course uh, I really can't narrow it down more than that but when you like say for instance I'm gonna do an article on Huawei smartphones I can click on that and see the articles the top articles that have been relevant for this niche and the traffic involved in it as well as some of the trending queries uh, it is kind of strange to see Apple News is number three on the uh, trending query for Huawei, but then it also has related topics down here at the bottom that also may be good to use for keywords or tags uh, in in one of your articles or uh, or a post or a YouTube video, what have you. You can also check and see what's trending on YouTube as well with this, and it's a bit more obscure and less targeted, I guess you could say. So. You can click on YouTube and you can see a ton of stuff here. So on the web space, you have more, I guess, mature entertainment and political field, mostly on that front page. On the YouTube side of it, you just have a bunch of nonsense, basically. Uh, instead of, you know, people searching for, you know, what's going on in the world, they want to know what's inside of a rattlesnake's rack. You know, whoa. Just, uh, just a real entertaining stuff there. And then Minecraft. It, it did a lot of nonsense uh, on, on, this, on this, uh, this page right here. I'm actually surprised to see that there is something political in the top 10. <laughs> so anyway, that being said that's pretty much it i mean it's a simple really simple website to use you can, you can see what's in the top charts uh it's really straightforward and you can just kind of go through here these are different trending categories and of course you can narrow this you can narrow this down as well um so it just a really nifty tool to use aside from google adwords to search for your keywords and using relevant keywords and all of these things come into play whenever you're either growing your YouTube channel or you're trying to get traffic to your website. So this is just one more thing that you can use that is free. And I'm really trying to get you guys, uh, help you guys 
uh, if I have any followers out there, which I know I do, who are trying to build YouTube channels. And this is just one more thing that'll help. That's free. Uh, now, there are a ton of other different things out there that you can use to get long tail keywords and things like that and to really boost your traffic uh, for a fee. Uh, but if you don't want to pay nothing and you're just trying to, and you're starting out and you're just trying to get some simple traffic, some beginner's traffic to your website or your YouTube channel, use this tool. You can sort of get an idea of where the traffic is going. And that's pretty much it, guys. So it's a simple tutorial video. Not really a tutorial video, it's just kind of like a. I guess it's getting the word out that this is here <laughs> and it's free to use. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other great content that I have on my YouTube channel. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.